Hey, 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 welcome to another Money Today. Yep, we're going deep again. So if you're not prepared to go deep, then uh, you better back out. Because <laughs> that's just how this channel rolls. Uh, this is going to be a lot of background information that you just really need to know. This channel for so long has you know, showed you how this all comes together. This just happens to be the Interledger Protocol, ISO 20022. But that's just one of the many, many things that we've done here with mind maps. But I mind mapped that whole ecosystem, which you guys have probably seen this Interledger Protocol family. Whoever made this knew what was happening. They knew. I don't care who made it. They knew. More and more research I go into, the more and more this all ties together. And you are going to see a lot of these major companies in this today, Accenture, Consensus, uh, IBM, Quorum, of course, Hyperledger, and they are all working together. And this is fairly easy to see, especially after this video. Can you imagine how much uh, information I have to process uh, just to find these gems? You know, the blockchain employee job fair. Who's going to watch that? Almost nobody. 80 views. Uh, but this is 15 hours ago, so this is what's happening now. So although you might think it's a little bit boring, I tried to cut it down into bite-sized things here just so you could see the connections. And then we're going to move way deeper in the next episode, and that's why I wanted to present this one. And you should go watch uh, King Solomon, an Oh My God new document, because we're going to take that document, and we're going to, you know, he read through part of it, and he talks about part of it. And we're going to take that, mix it with the information that I'm going to give you today. And then we're going to go way further. So no, this isn't financial advice. In my opinion, this is life advice. As you're going to see in this video, what's going on with blockchain is going to impact every part of your life, not just your financial life. So yeah, could you probably become a millionaire easily? With this information? Yeah, of course. But that's not what really I'm talking about here. I'm talking about like how this is going to affect your life and knowing that. And this is why you need to share it. This is why every, you know, I, we need to find ways to break these things down easier so that people can understand. Now we're going to go through this video and uh, I've cut it up. And then I'm going to talk uh, when something comes up. But I think every single person who speaks on this is going to say something very important. So try and pay attention the best you can. We are the world's most valuable brand that nobody knows who we are, which is always a, a fun perspective to give you a little bit of context. Um, and I'm always happy to be here at Hyperledger events. I actually uh, have the honor of being on the board of Hyperledger and a, a number of other organizations. Our Accenture team is always tech independent and has a, a footprint in the, uh, on the board of the EEA, as well as uh, many other organizations in the blockchain space. So so the EEA is the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance. So you can see she was part of Hyperledger. They're part of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance and they're Accenture, which are working on CBDCs around the world, digital identity, you name it, and she'll go on. <laughs> she'll let you know exactly what they're doing. Excited to be here. We are, um, you know, a half a million people <laughs> strong across the world, which is always amazing in 200 cities, 6,000 uh, 6, clients. And the stat that I think is always the funnest is we support 91 of the Fortune 100, right? So if there's a major brand you know, Accenture is in the mix. So again, that ironically world's most valuable brand, a lot of you don't even know who we are, <laughs> but we are behind the scenes, powering the strategy, the technology, and the capabilities for the brands that you know and love every day. Um, and we are embedded in the ecosystem, which is the fun way on how we are able to convene together people in the blockchain space, bringing industries and markets together. Our CEO is known a bit as the CEO whisperer. <laughs> so our ability to have that influence and impact is we are growing our blockchain and multi-party systems team um, with leaps and bounds. We continue to drive um, and shape the market. We are looking for strategists, consultants, architects, on, and entrepreneurs, and engineers. So you name it, we're looking for them. Our goals have been around the future of money, 
uh, the, the future of identity and the future of supply chains, all of which have been just amplified with what we've seen with COVID. So okay, so that's all very telling, right? Look at these three things they're working on. So you know which things that you're probably going to need to focus on as well. Supply chain, of course. This is why I look at track in, in particular for me. Uh, but IBM also has some other things going on, which we will get into. Decentralized ID. How many times are we going to hear that in just today's talk alone? Digital ID is coming. As we're going to go in with the next video, they have known this is going to happen for at least it's 2012. And I am going to show you that in the next video. They knew exactly how this was going to progress for like 10 years. And this whole thing just happened to happen to make this so much easier, um, which we won't name today. Uh, we brought a mix of a group of, of talent for you guys to talk to uh, in the tables. So we'll have both some technical people and some business people in each of the groups. So looking forward to having more discussions. So Tom Fahey leads our supply chain. Jess Johnson leads, or Les, uh, Jess Townsen leads our identity capability. Cody has been immersed in, uh, in our technology space. Um, Catherine White's been working with the World Economic Forum, so incredible, just leaning in on the future of money. Uh, Josh Cardelloni across supply chains, Khadija across oil and gas, and Tracy, who uh, actually used to be a, a big part of the Hyperledger organization and is one of our uh, lead, lead technologists and architects. It is very hard to find trained resources or people that have blockchain experience. Um, so we try to build a lot of training opportunities for people to build those tra uh, blockchain experience. Um, and then we do have a member. So we are Hyperledger is a member organization member companies like Accenture and Kaleido and Oracle join Hyperledger to support our open source communities. And we do want to help them fill these spots. Um, so as you can see here, there's some on identity, which is a very hot topic right now. Um, and there's certainly going to be a lot of hiring done um, around identity blockchain solutions in the near future. And um, one that, that is really cool, I invited them to come, but they're based out of Paris right now. Um, and they're moving operations to Los Angeles. Um, is is Una Blockchain and take a look at them. If you're into race car driving, they are building a hydrogen powered car that is the most beautiful car. I, I want to be the first one that has. Okay, I only added this part because it was a bit fun. Uh, Hopium is their car. It does look quite a bit like a Tesla, but it is uh, hydrogen powered. Una Blockchain is not just about that car. Una Blockchain is about tracking uh, emissions in cars. So digital passport, your whole car will be traced. I guess this is another way where that you know you know you don't own a car. People can pass it uh, on, and like if say you drive the car, it's it's fit to all of your settings. And then they punch in their code and then it, it goes to their settings. And this is on a blockchain, so it could be any car that has the same type of uh, engineering, right? So it's uh, really something and it goes into supply chain. So Una blockchain, just something to check out uh, for fun. And now we'll get back on to it. One of these cars um, in my neighborhood because it's I live in a Tesla neighborhood and I want better than a Tesla. Um, but Una Blockchain is a new Hyperledger member. They're looking for lead software engineer and they have some other positions available on their website as well. So my name is Matt Nelson. Uh, I work in the strategy and operations group at Consensus. Uh, Consensus is one of the world's leading Ethereum software companies. We not only make the Ethereum protocols, but we make products like MetaMask for user wallets, uh, Infura for blockchain-based infrastructure. It's a whole portfolio of different software products in the Ethereum ecosystem. Uh, we do have uh, open source uh, protocols like Hyperledger Basu, uh, part of the Hyperledger Foundation. And we have tons of different roles within our organization uh, for, again, developers, engineers, data scientists, uh, for business-minded business, business -minded folks as well. It's not just kind of a tech uh focused uh, role set. DDCC essentially, it's a very unique company. Uh, 
we are the world's largest depository for financial securities. Uh, we've been in existence for over 45 years, and uh, essentially we are the premier post-trade market infrastructure for for the global financial services industry. So, I mean, what do we do? Simply put, we automate, centralize, and standardize the processing of financial transactions across the trade life cycle. And, and this in turn mitigates risk for uh, thousands of institutions worldwide. So overall, it's a, it's, it's a CIFMO entity considered a very critical part of the U.S. financial services backbone. And, uh, you know, just uh, uh, referencing what the Accenture person said, it's, it's again one of those brands which is extremely critical, but not many people outside of financial service industry would have heard about it, right? So just to share some facts and metrics with you, uh, we are headquartered in Jersey City. And uh, we have presence across multiple locations within the U.S. and across the globe. So around 4,500 employees working in 15 countries. Uh, we hold active issues worth $63 trillion. And, uh, and this is the number I really love to quote is we process about over $2.15 quadrillion a year. So wow. quadrillion being thousand trillion trillion being a thousand billion and this is literally the only place where i see quadrillion being used as an actual number and not 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 as an expression literally the who's who of the financial industries form our client base we are in a very unique position to evolve some of the most critical facets of the financial service industry in a very holistic and comprehensive manner right so it's a high visibility high impact arena and some some examples some of these projects and you can uh, look those up would be project whitney and project Dion, on which we published some white papers okay so so far what you heard i mean the biggest companies in the entire world the most money 2.1 quadrillion a year in processing this is about a blockchain this is a blockchain employee job fair and exactly what he just talked about Project Ion and Project Whitney are the latest efforts by the DTCC to examine the potential use of DLT, asset digitization, and other emerging technologies. So it's telling you right there, they are going distributed ledger technology. So if you know which type of technologies they're going towards, you know, there's just so much we need to know here. And that is why you subscribe to this channel. Uh, number two, as I mentioned, we have a huge client base consisting of some of the most prominent players in the financial services industry across the globe. So any work that we do in the research and innovation, we tend to get tremendous visibility, tremendous partnership, and very broad engagement from the industry. Who is Kaleido? Um, we're... Uh very fast growing tech startup, uh, obviously very exciting space, blockchain, digital transformation platforms. Um, we're all about making these multi-party systems, um, as you heard Accenture talk about, these business networks and ecosystems radically simple to build, to get into production, um, and all for enterprise. So I'm part of a four-member four co-founding team that has been in the blockchain space from the very beginning. I personally started working in blockchain in 2015, and we had uh, a lot of really early insights working with the leaders in the space. Um, launched, uh, had coming back home to the Hyperledger community because worked very closely to help uh, set up Hyperledger and make initial code donation um, there. Wait a second. Here's another person who helped set up Hyperledger and made code donation. Uh, are you guys not seeing how this is connected? Also, she said they're part of a four co-member team, right? They all co-created this together. Well, three out of the four of them are from IBM. And if you've been watching this channel at all, I mean, if you go through the people who started the Linux Foundation, you're just going to see IBM all over the place. So it's no mistake there. All right, let's continue with this. It's just kind of hilarious when you think about it. We work across all the uh, major enterprise protocols, very similar to Accenture. So offering flexibility and choice to our customers, really focused on customer results, the so real benefits using blockchain um, to evolve business processes and also to revolutionize how people work. We're natively cross-cloud and hybrid. We've had a very strong commitment to open source since day one and recently open source. Okay, 
So they all talk about this open source. Um, I take that with a grain of salt, considering the companies we're talking about. But look at this. Once again, Hyperledger, Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, Interwork Alliance, Chainlink, and IFPS. Now, the... These are actual coins that you can get. So if you're asking, oh, where can I get coins? Obviously, with Corda, Zenfin would be about the only thing that's connected there. And, uh, you know, we have gone over what is connected. A lot of people think, oh, you know, this is connected and, and it's uh, 10 degrees of separation or whatever. It's just not that way. It's just because you haven't studied this enough to understand it. Now, when I go through something like maybe an Oasis... And you may say, hey, you know, that's it has all of these same connections, but, you know, it doesn't mean anything or something. Realize Oasis is a very low market cap. And some of these you go into the you know, Alliance Block was a very low market cap. And you see the ones that are connected are the ones that are coming up. So if I talk about one that's connected to all these, but it doesn't seem like it's big yet, then you may start thinking about that one, right? Just my opinion. Let's continue. Six years of learnings <laughs> and insights. Um, that's the Firefly that was talking about, Firefly community, working with the World Bank and CBDC projects across the world, um, disease surveillance, um, sustainability, climate warehouse, um, ed tech, so lots, lots of exciting projects. We recently awarded a grant for blockchain operability. So the Clido team um, and engineers get uh, to, to work on that, which is going to be really fun. And we partner with people like MIT who run uh, week-long courses on us. Okay, did you see that? There's so many government ties to what's going on with the Linux Foundation and Hyperledger. As I've told you many times, their partnership with DARPA to create basically everything. And that's why we come back to the ISO 2022 ecosystem. Because as you can see, Accenture, Consensus, Hyperledger, IBM, Corda, they're all connected there. And CBDCs are coming. They're working on them big time. And we're going to get into that in the next episode. This one is far long enough. I appreciate it if you made it this far. So much important information. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Love y'all.